Bunch of the Bakers is a trippy little 2017 third time feature from director Tyler Am. Clearly inspired by early camp gore outings from the boundary pushing 60s, but less shock and more schlock. Martin and Sam are two inept friends who are running a popular bakery in downtown Ottawa, Canada for a wheelchair bound old lady. These two pretty inept boneheads are more of the slacker variety though. But fate one day crosses their path as they are unwittingly mistaken as the chosen ones following a random act of kindness to a stranger. The bemused buddies are promised a box of gold coins to stop a collector of souls, a grim reaper on the loose and killing the locals, but this soul taker had fallen from Gaulish grace and become mortal, and as such can now only be killed by another mortal being. Who better then to kill a reaper of souls than two slacker a-holes? Failing their task though, and their very own souls shall be lost for all eternity. Time then to grow a pair and take out the Grim Reaper, wandering around town at night, all garbed out in black and looking like the Undertaker from the WWE. Are you ready to rumble then? As Butcher the Bakers gears up for a freaked out faux Bill and Ted gone to hell. The ultra-low-budget, highly well-intentioned piece strives hard to gather itself up as a goofy little cult-following outing and throws most all at the film schlock and stock wall of cliché and the crap testicle. But even with a free-flowing flex of badass brevity and no-budget banality, the movie misses the mark a good deal more than it sticks to its target. The sheer level of insanity thrown out, though, will largely entertain its likely intended audience of beverage and pizza demograph, all too willingly prepared to sign up to the place your brain in a pickle jar whilst viewing Disclaimer. The mighty meaty movie pizza slice of silliness here throws everything into its bucket of blood, with dark mortals, archaic magic, and a mixed up ball breaking babe with a gun finding fetish, along with a death driven drive to avenge the murder of her father, and aid in the cessation of the abnormally large amount of other deaths in her hometown. Martin and Sam, with a helping hand in the form of an undead severed arm, all throw in with the G.I. Do or Die Jane to take down the Reaper and his freak brigade of garish ghouls, who in turn set about to go all out to, of course, butcher the bakers. Get your giddy on and staple your brain to the cat litter, as this one is crazier than a pussy in purgatory disco dancing to the Dean Martin back catalogue with Puff the Magic Dragon. Release the Reaper with his collected souls and he shall open a portal to another dimension. Holy moly, this is one low budget graveyard of gore and bizarreness. Lamer than the hind half of a panto horse named Herschel, as in Herschel Gordon Lewis, of which this movie is clearly parodying its low-budget gory groove applied trade from. It's a 3.5 out of 10 mismash for striving to realise such a whacked out trip to Weirdsville. But overall, this is a one-way ticket that even in Bill and Ted land is far from excellent. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.
Okay. Oh, 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 oh.